Hey YouTube, this is Manny V, and you guys are watching Inspire Your Mind. Today we have a lovely co-host today, Cindy. Hi everyone, I'm Cindy, and today we'll be talking about the super hot topic of the 2016 debate, the presidential election. You know, there's a lot of he say and she says pointing fingers. We have one failed businessman who hasn't paid taxes since 1995, and the other one where emo scandals and the Benghazi. I just don't know what is what. Can you give a little highlights about what's going on in the debates? Yeah, for sure. So uh, definitely one of the most interesting presidential um, years of the uh, American history. So we have, you know, um, a, a guy who's just uh, hasn't been paying taxes. Interesting, interesting. Since 1985, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah business, businessman. Right. Um, and then he's been so called businessman. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's a racism and. And all kinds of all kinds of things, mistreating women, and then you, and then you have you know Lady Clinton who uh, definitely has that uh, political experience that uh, Trump does not have, so that's positive but negative uh, having um, less than less than ideal morally mind and, and practices and um, just deleting emails and um, just questionable practices for sure. So which which of the which do we want as president? Which is the lesser of two evils? Not necessarily a fun thing to have to decide on, but we, we do have to. Exactly, lesser of two evils. That's what people are talking about day and night. I mean, you got this bully right here. We're gonna build this wall, make America great. I mean, come on, baloney. And this lady talking about the emo scandal, Benghazi, and has been in office for 30 years. Of course, she has Clinton to give her the best advice of everything you can imagine. But do you really want to vote for a failed businessman? I mean, gain doing sexual advances in a TV show and he's calling Bill Clinton out with the Monica Lewinsky. I mean, do we really want a clown in office? I mean, Trump University, 70% of the people failed. I mean, $30,000 of their life saving down the drain. And this guy right here, you know, pandering women, just abusing them, kissing on them, loving them, just buying everything he wants from women, jobs, houses, and he has the goddamn nerves to build a damn Trump hotel in front of the White House. And you know what he says? One way or the other, I'm going to make it to the White House. Whether it's from the hotel to the White House, or just walking. What would you give to our audience message on this voting seasons? Yeah, um, that to definitely vote. You know, I, I've been hearing so many times that they sure Manny has that I, I'm not going to vote, I'm not going to vote because I just can't vote for either of them. But, but in the end, our votes count. So uh, again, lesser there are two evils, it's a real world, not um, not an idealistic world. Uh, vote for whoever you think is uh, lesser two evils. Maybe you even blow one of them. So go out there, <laughs> go out there and vote. You know, especially the young people out there. Uh, be an American and, and take pride and, and uh, do what you need to do. Do your research, talk to people, uh, watch the debates, and uh, vote. Exactly. Definitely rock the vote and look at each experience. Has one of them been in the politician? Has been in the politics for many, many years? Yes. Has the other one been in politics? No. Has he been a mayor? Has he been a governor? Just a failed businessman. So with that, use your logic and leave the emotion out the door. Who cares about the emo scandal? I mean, we all make mistakes. Who cares about Benghazi? I mean, shit happens. I mean, look at the war in Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan. All that shit was propaganda. I mean, even, even taking out JFK was all propaganda. It's, it's how politics works. And if you don't like it, you know, go to Canada or get the hell out of here. But we definitely don't want to build a wall. We definitely want to unite and be a, be a one nation. This is what this country is about, a melting pot. And this is how we became one and we should become one again. And with that, I'd like to end our show with a thank you. And definitely subscribe to our show and definitely hit the like button. And thank you. Yeah, inspiremind.org. Bye, everyone. Peace.